Google Assistant Accessibility Videos, Google Nest Hub Accessibility Features. Hello and welcome. I am Kiran, and I'm here with my colleague, Kendra. In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to make the Google Home Hub accessible. Google Home Hub is a smart display made by Google. It includes the functionality of a Google Home, but also has a seven inch touchscreen display. The primary mode of interaction with the Google Home Hub is still voice, but the screen also displays information visually. The Home Hub has a range of accessibility features. It includes a screen reader so that people who are blind or visually impaired can access information on the screen. It also supports magnification gestures and color inversion, which can help people with low vision see the screen better. It also supports closed captions for media playback. Like the Google Home, the Home Hub also supports turning on sounds for when you say, OK, Google, or Hey, Google, and when you stop speaking. To change any accessibility settings on the Google Home Hub, you will need to use the Google Home app on a smartphone. I am blind myself, and I am using the TalkBack screen reader on Android for this demo. But you can also do this on the Google Home app on iPhone or an iPad. I have the Google Home Hub set up already, and I will find the accessibility settings for it now in the Google Home app. I'll find the Account tab in the bottom right corner. Account button. Now I'll scroll down the list to find local devices. 13 local devices. Double tap to activate. I'll open local devices by double tapping it. Home, add to a room button. Now in this list of local devices, I am looking for living room display. So I'll just scroll down the list. Living room display. I'll double tap to open the living room display. Home. Now I'm looking for device settings. Equalizer settings. Open device settings. Double tap to activate. Double tap to open device settings. Device settings. Navigate up button. Double tap to activate. I'll now scroll down to accessibility settings. Guest mode off. Accessibility. I'll double tap to open accessibility settings. Accessibility. Now that I'm under accessibility settings, I'll turn on the start and end sounds under audio options. Play start sound off switch. Double tap to activate. Double tap to turn it on. On. Play end sound off switch. I'll double tap again to turn on end sounds as well. On. Let's ask Google Home Hub a question. Hey Google, tell me about the Grand Canyon. According to Wikipedia, the Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon carved by the Colorado River in Arizona, United States. The next setting under audio options is the screen reader. When you turn on the screen reader, you can use certain gestures to have text on the screen read out to you. Now I'll turn on the screen reader and demonstrate a few basic gestures. Screen reader, off switch. Double tap to activate. I'll double tap to activate the screen reader. On. Chromevox spoken feedback is ready. Google Home Hub. Now that the screen reader is on, let's ask about the Grand Canyon again. Hey Google, tell me about the Grand Canyon. According to Wikipedia, the Grand Canyon is a steep-sided canyon carved by the Colorado River in Arizona, United States. Now that the screen reader is turned on, I will demonstrate a few basic gestures. I can touch the screen and move my finger around to read what's being displayed on the screen. Fry mostly sunny 66 degrees 44 degrees. Button. Double tap to activate. SAT mostly cloudy 65 degrees 46 degrees. Button. Sun partly cloudy 67 degrees 47 degrees. Button. Double tap to activate. Coming up. Double tap to activate. Add a reminder. Double tap to activate. You can also use the left and right swipe gestures to move to the previous or next item and read that. Fry, January 25th. What? Fry mostly sunny 66 degrees 44 degrees. SAT mostly cloudy 65 degrees 46 degrees. Sun partly cloudy 67 degrees 47 degrees. Weather.com. Anchor. Double tap to activate. My colleague Kendra will now demonstrate the magnification and color inversion features. Hi, I'm Kendra and I'm a program manager for accessibility. I'm gonna demonstrate how the magnify screen and color inversion options work on Home Hub. 
Since we're already in the accessibility settings, simply tap on Magnify Screen to turn on. Once you turn on Magnify Screen, you can use a three finger tap gesture to start and stop magnification. Now I'll just triple tap with one finger to magnify the screen. Color inversion works by inverting the colors. This can make it easier on the eyes for some people with a sensitivity to brightness or for anyone who could use a little higher contrast. Again, since we're already in the accessibility settings, I'm going to simply tap on color inversion to turn it on. You can also turn on closed captions for video content. When you play videos on a service that respects this setting, closed captions will automatically be displayed. Going back to the accessibility settings after selecting closed captioning, simply tap video content to turn it on. Now you can say, hey Google, play Google Local Guides on YouTube. Okay, here's Google Local Guides on YouTube. There is a journey behind every photo. Hey Google, cancel. This was just a quick overview of the accessibility features on Google Home Hub. For more ways the Assistant can help you in your daily life, watch the videos in the rest of this series linked in the description below. We'd love to hear from our users. If you have questions, comments, or feedback on accessibility of Google products, please get in touch with us by email at disability-support at google.com or check out support.google.com forward slash accessibility for additional accessibility support options.